okay uh, and guys can we all mute ourselves please okay please give me a moment okay uh, so hi guys um, you know as you can see we are doing a portfolio design workshop uh, this is conducted by art pop design studio and uh, let's move to the next slide shreya okay uh, so as you all know my name is rimjim and i graduated from nift bangalore as lifestyle and fashion accessory designer in 2012 and 2016 uh, batch and uh, being the founder and creative head of art pop design studio we aim at you know bridging the gap between design education design awareness and uh, you know the students or the kids or people who are trying to approach for jobs and you know they come from different startups where they are unable to get these kinds of information easily available so uh, during the session if you have any kinds of doubts uh, you know we are opening it up at the end so make sure you clear all your doubts uh, whichever you have regarding portfolio development and this uh, let's move to the next slide shreya okay so in today's workshop structure we'll be studying about what is portfolio what is the importance of portfolio how can you present your portfolio must haves of a portfolio we'll do a fun exercise and then there will be a doubt session also let's move to the next okay uh, so has anyone any idea about what is a portfolio can i hear a few people telling me what a portfolio is anyone uh nishtha what is a portfolio according to you what is a portfolio six months glamour in the uh... sorry okay muskan what is a portfolio what do you think a portfolio is ma'am it's a matlab uh, jo apno ko represent karta hai कुछ भी जैसे तुमने बोला इट रिप्रेजेंट यू यस करेक्ट एनीथिंग एल्स दैट यू नो अबाउट पोर्टफोलियो ओके नितिका वॉट डू यू नितिका वॉट डू यू थिंक अ पोर्टफोलियो इज it's a documentation of your of uh, our work it's a documentation of our work correct um varsha what do you think a portfolio is ma'am to showcase what we are capable of to showcase what we are capable of correct priyanshi any ideas about what a portfolio is Ma'am, to represent the specific things or to represent our ideas. Okay, good. Uh, Shreya, what do you think a portfolio is? Shreya, the student, we have to Shreya. Yeah. Uh, it portfolio is for showing the design process. correct yes so i think it tells everyone has tried to you know the thing and you know uh, basically what a portfolio is definitely one thing that it's a documentation of your work second thing it is you it represents you uh, that's why uh, you know when you are not present your portfolio represents you in front of colleges in front of recruiters in front of your clients and of course it showcases your design process which means if you like to make clothes then your uh, portfolio should speak of it if you like to do product designing if you like to do logo designing these kinds of things are documented and kept well in a portfolio can we move to the next slide uh, so that's why i say that you know portfolio is a complete mixture of uh, 
you and your work and it is the most important thing right now because as a designer or a creative person how much ever you explain your project in words it doesn't matter until and unless it's on paper or it's you know planned well and organized well uh, so let's move to the next slide where we uh, you know discuss about uh, how can you present a design portfolio so currently uh in today's scenario when we present a portfolio design first definitely a digital portfolio there's a handmade portfolio there's a digitally printed portfolio uh, you make portfolios on behance dribble and wix then there's a self owned website uh, portfolio that people make and then there's portfolio that you put on social media these days so let's see those examples now uh, the first one is of a digital portfolio uh, so i'm sure um, you would have seen these on websites you know for example i am a, a designer and i love doing graphic work and also i can of course make a portfolio that is digitally designed from mediums like you know photoshop or on illustrator uh, or your own graphic design mediums that you like so a digital portfolio looks like this i hope you can see this image on your screen next let's move on to the next a handmade portfolio or a printed portfolio which means instead of sending a online medium file i am actually sitting and doing scrapbooking and collaging and i know a lot of designers who still even when online portfolio is going on believe in doing handwork and you know are taking pages are doing uh, brainstorming scrapbooking collaging and using their hand skills binding books and making their own handmade portfolio secondly you can also take print out and you know make a whole booklet of it and you know make a mag seen out of it and carry it with you uh, so that's a handmade kind of uh, portfolio that is also there uh, which is done by people um, next of course we have mediums like uh, you know behance where a lot of designer artists all around the world are uploading and making their portfolio online so this is a very good medium these days which is running where you know people can follow you people can message you appreciate your project um, you can get views on your project you can collaborate with brands so uh, behance is one kind of medium i hope you all are making notes um, definitely i'll share this pdf also so you will have that uh second is dribble Dri dribble is again a very very famous uh, you know online platform for designers artists and you know anyone who is doing creative work to present uh, your ideas so d r i b b l e and same goes in that if you will type in the search graphic design then you know a lot of designers will show up and of course your views on projects and uh, you know your appreciations on projects lead you to design internships jobs and uh, you know even in companies they ask you now that i want specifically a dribble profile link or a behance profile link they do not ask for online portfolios so uh, you know this is also a very good medium next uh, is a uh, wix so now how is wix different from uh, dribble and behance is that there automatically you know a platform is there for example instagram if i have to upload picture or you have to upload picture it will all look the same in the same grid but in wix you can create your own portfolio where you know elements will be given themes will be given you can pick um, you know your own choice of colors and all those things and work according so wix is also a good medium next uh, let's move on to self owned website so of course there is a time in your life when you you know do your graduation or you become designers where you feel like okay these kinds of websites are not working well for me why don't not i create my own website or ask someone to create your own website so to get more extra features so people also make their own website links you know with their name titles and their own domain links so that uh, you know they can just share their website link and people can reach out to them there directly it has your own dashboards and it's your own website basically um and the last one uh, which is going on around is uh, you know social media definitely it has grabbed the attention of lot of uh, 
companies big brands where you know they definitely when you submit your cv resumes and all go to your uh, personal account so you know opening a design account art account or creative account on instagram twitter pinterest these things are also going on these days so i think this is also something which can represent okay now let's move on to the next uh, importance of portfolio why is portfolio necessary why a person needs to have one uh, we'll try to understand this um, let's move to the next okay first it represents you professionally now what does this mean uh, it means like you are being represented by your portfolio and it's the best way to showcase your brand your creativity and you know your re portfolio represents you as muskan says and it bridges the gap between your potential clients and recruiters and users etc that's why it is very important because uh, this is the only medium a designer has so professionally it represents you that's why it's important next increases trust in you our portfolio increases the trust in your uh, in you and your authenticity clients recruiters look for samples and also want to know the person they invest in and this is the best way to increase trust in yourself i know like as much as i know my students for example i know shreya i must i know muskan i know reshna so i have that trust but what happens if i send you to another place which means what happens if i refer you to someone they would tell me that uh, no i want to see their portfolio how do you are telling me this person is very good in sketching and you know very good in ideation how will i know it so to increase the trust you have a portfolio uh, you know where these things are being showcased and they become very clear that okay yes this person is good in sketching or this person is good in prototyping so that's why it's important next uh, let's move to the next why is it important is it um, it is important because this is the best way of compiling your creative work definitely even when i was in first year second year third year you know you do a sketch you leave it somewhere you do a prototype you leave it somewhere and at the end when you have to submit your portfolio somewhere you don't have uh, you know all the work with you so i tell all my students and everyone who is in design a fraternity or you know in this community that even if it's a small doodle that you are doing or it's a poem that you are writing or it's a sample sketch that you have done you should keep documenting everything because you have no idea which person can like what thing and you know uh, what can attract them to you know invest in you so uh, it's also good to track your research and creative process through this so always keep your work compiled in one place to be more organized be it your file at home or be it your file on a laptop so make sure both the things are being done next it decreases rejections definitely if i as a design intern or for a job or for even admission in a design college in india or abroad one way or the other or you know one point or the other in your life be it bachelor or masters there will be a point in life where you will have to submit your portfolio and without a portfolio there are 200% rejection so you unless and until like you know the person knows you personally and knows how you work but without a portfolio you will never end up getting the college or the job or the client so to decrease your rejections uh, please uh, make a portfolio it's utmost necessary for any or designer present in anywhere anywhere in this world okay next access your career trajectory of course it's also a place for oneself to understand where he or she stands in their own career path where did they start from where have they ended up and how far do they need to aim for it definitely is a reflection of your growth and accomplishment today if i see my portfolio that i made in you know first year of college that i made in my first job or uh, you know now my portfolio you will see the growth of your own 
self and even when people will ask you you know okay can you show me some of your college projects can you show me some of your school projects then it's a you know pathway that uh, definitely reflects upon your accomplishments so uh, this is why portfolio is a very important thing for a designer and an artist to have let's move to the next uh let's take a look now at few design portfolios that i have compiled for you all for different places so that uh you know you can have an idea of how people are currently doing it and evolving it and definitely at the end it's your choice how you want to make your portfolio there's no set rules for it that this has to happen or this has to happen but i can definitely guide you with uh the important parts so uh, let's uh, see the examples first i have taken um an example of a illustration portfolio first uh, this is taken from behance it's done by uh, you know maria uh, you know it's a dracula illustration book for a portfolio which is done you will see how the cover page is done and how her illustrations are being showcased and then you know she has tried to represent them in a book so illustration portfolios where a person is doing a lot of sketches comic books story boarding graphic medium make sure you see these references which means you type these specific words not in google but on behance on dribble on wix and try to see these kinds of things um let's move to the next one next is a i think a fashion design portfolio example i have taken for because a lot of students are interested in fashion design um so see um this is a fashion design portfolio of ye Lin Yang Zhu, and uh, you will see she has a theme to everything. This is just a glimpse of her portfolio. Little parts you will see she has put her inspiration, research, and you know her draping, then the process, mood board, renderings, and you know how she is taking inspiration from. There's a cover page. Her name is there. Her style is there. So uh, this is something also uh, which is very exciting for people to look at. Uh, this is also good example. Next, let's move to the next. Um, again, fashion design portfolios these days are also you know very um, creative, and you will see in books uh, people are printing them. They have a theme for it. Uh, below one you will see there's a you know menswear collection which is being represented on a portfolio. Left side there's this. Uh, uh um, stylist very famous stylist she is there it's her portfolio where you know her magazine shoots are being displayed and when you click any one then that opens up so that's a digital one but of course hand examples also have given here uh next let's move on to next kind of portfolios uh, so furniture design or interior design portfolios this is of manish sharma he is also an nid graduate and um this was available on issue where he has posted it so uh, you will see how he has shown the whole process his drawings his sketches his 3d renderings and the final product is also there uh, so that's why when i say you know design process is important to show in a portfolio this is how it basically looks like let's move to the next okay a uh, product design portfolio uh, this is of galaxy watch 4 i have not written the collaborator's name because it was done by multiple owners but this is live now it's present it's a sellable product by galaxy and you will see how um, they have done the 3d renderings of ske its sketches of it are present and of course when you will check it on behance there's you know written descriptions of how they have designed it what was the process what's the material those kinds of things are Uh, present let's move to the next <clears throat> okay let's discuss about a uh, design portfolio must have so uh, quickly which means what to include in your portfolio and i hope you all are making notes okay let's move to the first thing uh, the first thing which is very important in a portfolio is definitely the theme and style uh, you know which means a uh, how the theme of a portfolio should be for example if i am a person who is very fun loving or creative and all my work is colorful and all my work has lots of bright colors then my portfolio should have that it should not become a very dull kind of thing where you know it's black and white so a theme a color uh, you know font style 
uh, how big is the font, how small is the font, what are the colors in my portfolio is very important. So on the left, you will see there's a mood board. On the right, you will see there's a mood board specific colors and the font and everything is gold it looks a little vintagey and royal on the left side it's little bluish turquoise colors with neon and you know the fonts are little curvy next uh, let's move to the next slide of few more examples for theme and styles uh, again see on the left you will see how uh, you know few fonts are really bold and uh, structured on the right you will see photography being the main center of the portfolio. So definitely your theme and style depends on how your work is, right? If your work has a lot of furniture pieces, you will try to mold your portfolio in the same direction. Uh, let's move to the next and see a few more examples. Um, there's a minimal uh, kind of example also I have taken. Shreya, can we move to the next? Um, see on the left, a very minimal, plain, uh, you know, clean kind of a portfolio theme is there. Of course, for product design and all, we try to make products a very good part of, uh, you know, attention. So we keep the backgrounds and everything very simple and plain. And on the right, see if it's an online portfolio, they have tried to add a little bit pop colors and things which are going on to add it. Yeah, so theme and style is the first most important thing. That is what you should first decide. Next should be your cover page. Now for everyone I am telling, even when you are looking at these examples, understand that uh, in a cover page of a portfolio, we don't make it too much. Like we do not add too many things because it should have a very important thing, which is portfolio written. P -O -R -T. F O L I O portfolio should be written, your name should be written, and the year should be written. Right? Because of course, some people have year wise portfolios, some people have four years portfolio together, or some people have like, you know, this is my graphic design portfolio, this is my illustration portfolio, uh, this is my fashion design portfolio. So the cover page definitely can be according to your uh, style, but uh, these are basic covers that I have selected for you to understand that, of course, it can have your hand sketches, it can have a plain graphic at the back, it can be bright and colorful, anything it could be there. But at the end, you should be able to answer that why have you chosen these kinds of colors because they represent you. So cover page is the most important part of the portfolio because it represents you and then the person starts to move to the next pages. After the cover page, the second important thing is your uh, about me page. Uh, about me page definitely should have a picture. It should have a photograph and a professional looking photograph. In the below right, you will see a guy with a, you know, kooky smile. And of course he has made his own website and everything. And I'm sure this person has worked a lot in the industry. So it doesn't matter that if his picture is looks little professional or it's fun or not, right? But on the left, you will see it's a very professional looking picture, which is there. So make sure you're not putting a picture of you being with friends or enjoying or laughing, it, it, it looks formal because it's good if you are starting, you are students who will now join design colleges or, you know, will be in second or third year of your NIFT and ID or private design colleges in India. So in India, we still try to represent things in a little formal way. So make sure your name is clear. About you, there's one paragraph, which means what do you do? What's your age? Um, what are your hobbies? And a second paragraph could be what does design mean to you or what are your goals or aims in life? So you write a very crisp and short note about you and put a really nice picture of you, uh, which looks formal and professional. And that way uh, it's a good start of a portfolio. Next, after your about me page, uh, we have your contents page. Um, contents is very important in a portfolio because the person it gives a glimpse to the person that okay it has these these projects it has 10 projects it has five projects it has 
uh, you know, graphic design, illustration, it has photography, it has art and craft, whatever you are trying to put, make sure in your content page, it is clearly mentioned and some people even write a small paragraph below that, you know, showcases the brief or the design brief of the portfolio or the theme that you are adding. Uh, so make sure you have your content page well planned. After your content page, will your design projects will start, which means your main project will start. Now for design projects, I will tell you one thing. Uh, suppose your first project is um, a accessory design project or a, or a poster. Let's take the example of poster because all of you have done posters. And um, so how you will start it in the design project, the first page, should be the theme page which means you should write poster design or if it's graphic design or if it's product design illustrations whatever the theme of that is if it's font then you should write typography if it's app and web designing you should write ui ux if it's fashion design you should write fashion design if it's styling you write styling so that name of the project should be the first page after that you should have your design brief which means you are saying that, uh, you know, whatever you are designing, creating a poster on awareness of education, whatever, or creating a t-shirt for a college going kid, whatever it is, it should be written properly. Then you do your research, you put your ideation sketches, uh, you put your brainstorming sketches, and uh, then you make your final sketch and everything. So a whole one design project should have at least three to four slides where the whole process of your design is visible. It should not be like you have put poster design and then 10 posters are put up. Those 10 posters could be taken from internet, could be taken from anywhere. So it does not represent you as a design. It does not represent your design process. So make sure when you are adding even one project, even if your portfolio has done one project it should have design brief it should have ideation it should have brainstorming it should have design thinking it should have lots of sketches it should have a final sketch and of course the most important thing we can move to the next page now um, is your learning and skill page so what happens is of course first i have done you know i've done a whole a poster design project or I have done a whole fashion design illustration project. One learning should be there after the project that from this project I learned time management or I learned working in a team or I learned softwares or I learned how to use colors or shading. Whatever your learning is should be mentioned in your portfolio because that's the only question they'll ask you after seeing your portfolio. What did you learn? What is something new that you came up with? Is it a new design that you're coming up with? Are you solving some kind of problem? So make sure either in each project, a learning page is there or in the end, a learning page is there that represents your learning skill wise. Am I clear everyone? I hope this is clear for all. And uh, next page, let's move to the uh, important uh, things that are required in a portfolio. Um, let's move left to the next. Four minutes. So should they rejoin or uh, afterwards? You continue. I think we have two minutes left. I'll finish this and then they can uh, rejoin. Okay. Yeah, so uh, uh, your last page in your portfolio definitely should be a resource page. Now I'll tell you what a resource page is quickly. See, resource page, page means like, uh, if I did my research today, if I made this whole, you know, PPT that you are seeing or this whole thing you are seeing, where did I go to? I went to Google. So I need to write that in my resource page. I went to Behance. I need to write that in my resource page. I went to Dribble. I need to write that. If you are going and talking to someone and that someone is still giving you some information which you are using in your portfolio, that uh, resource page or bibliography page, whatever you call it, should be mentioned. Okay, so all the sources link, wherever you took inspiration from should be given a credit and that's why uh, it should be a resource page. And last, let's move to the next slide is the contact uh, page. So now uh, why contact page is important is because if someone is trying to um, 
you know, reach out to you. Suppose your portfolio is on Behance, Dribble, on Instagram, and I want to work with you and I like your work. So that contact information is really important. Otherwise, how will that person reach out to you? Right, Suman, if I liked your design and you, I don't have your number and I don't have your email, then how will I reach out to you? So the contact page in the end with your picture, your email ID, your Instagram, Facebook logins, uh, your Behance link, your phone number, official email, try to add all of that in your portfolio so that they can reach out to you. Uh, next, uh, let's move on to the next page. Portfolios are a must-have for designer, artists, or anyone in this creative field. You cannot escape it. As much as you want to, you cannot. Because uh, it represents your work. It is like, you know, your admit card to things, to this whole industry. So make sure uh, you make it and you make it as early as possible and start compiling it. Second, be authentic original and true to your work when designing your portfolio do not copy from places do not add um, you know projects of other people uh, do not uh, add things to your portfolio that does not represent you or doesn't relate with you because at the end a person looks at your portfolio and says that okay the person this person's works uh, shows this kind of creativity i want to give him this kind of job so be authentic a uh, third thing, have diversity in your projects to showcase all your skills, which means if you're good in illustrations, add it. If you're good in photography, add it. If you're good in fashion designing, add it. So add as many kind of diverse things in your portfolio as you can. Fourth, include all processes in your design portfolios. You never know what may catch the eye. Uh, and the last one, ensure that your portfolio is available in all mediums as per your clients. There are few clients that require, you know, PDF or they require a handmade printed delivered to their place. So make sure it's available in all mediums for whoever is looking out for it. Uh, let's move to the next, Shreya. Okay, let's do a fun task. Uh, before we do a fun task, Shreya, uh, why not we show them uh, my portfolio and two portfolios of my students that were recently made. So uh, this is my portfolio, which I made uh, before during my college first year. So I didn't want it to show you all a very professional portfolio because uh, that will be a really big gap between your uh, your work and that work because that portfolio is done after five years of work so right now starting one i wanted to show you all so that um, you know you can add or make it similar otherwise what happens is for a lot of people uh, you know you all look at behance and feel that oh these things are so hi-fi and all those things so don't aim at doing such hi-fi things right now you have not gone into a design college you will have a subject of food for you in your design college so right now you can start with a simple simple thing so as you will see um this was made when I, it was made in my first year of college so in the front you know i have added my own picture in my portfolio and it was a photography uh, you know thing i was that time running a blog which was called rimjin's reverie so that why it has my portfolio has a name that's why i didn't write portfolio in it uh, second page you will see has you know my about me and, and i have written you know i think design for me is a way of living uh, it is anything and everything around uh, you and my passion for design is much more than merely working to get an output but to inspire and broaden minds of people and the left side I have added a painting that I only made. Uh, let's move to the next. You can scroll up. Um, this was a project. See, uh, I added one project in, you know, uh, in this way. So I made a, a stool in uh, NIFT where I did furniture design class. Uh, so, you know, it was a stool which was made on the theme of outrageous for people whose nature is childlike and, you know, who are kids like and who would like to do a do-it-yourself kind of project. Uh, move to the next slide. That's why I've added a mood board also. And uh, you will see that I have added a color board. I have taken pictures of the project of the furniture with me. And on the left below, you will see that I have created that whole furniture from my hand. So this is called documentation. Documentation means that, you know, I'm even um, 
present in those pictures and it was being recorded so in college you will see when or even right now if you are painting something make sure you are taking pictures and all these things because this proves authenticity in these kinds of times when everyone is copying everything um, then the next project you will see there's graphic ui ux and packaging photography i have added so on the left side you will see some fonts that i have used um, right side there was a product photo shoot or a poster so first we clicked the picture of you know haldi ram no no sorry everest uh, mirch masala and then we created the whole poster below you will see there's a book cover design there's a party poster design eat pray and love book is there you know we redesigned that cover so that is there then you can move to the next slide um Uh, i also did a ui ux project so you will see this whole page you know that i have the workflow i have sketches i have my theme i have how it will look like so uh, you know a person gets a gist of your whole ideation process through these kinds of portfolios move to the next yeah i had made few icons also you know for that app the app was called fiction on the right side you will see a packaging design uh, i did a project for a renovation of uh, no not renovation sorry redesigning of a, a turmeric packet you get a haldi packet right so i redesigned it and you will see the next page i took inspiration board is there you know i took inspiration from the form of a egg or from wilted leaves and that's why my whole uh, box shape of product uh, you know was in a oval shape and inside there was um, turmeric which was there on the right side in packaging design i took um, you know folding stool i took the project of uh, you know how amazon people deliver so those cardboard things was my project if you will go to the next page uh, from my inspiration of transparency i uh, designed uh, you know a cover on the top left you will see that it was a cover for the packaging for a stool so it had a little glass on it also so that a person when something gets delivered to them they can see Uh, what is being delivered to them instead of you know opening and tearing the whole page that was made for transparent sheet the sheet so the person can see what's inside and my next project you will see it was a workshop done by uh, tata motors and cm generals where we were designing cars and a futuristic car so we have you know the project brief uh, we have environment uh, board we have inspiration boards i also had the cover page and my team name members written Uh, next slide you will see grasp the design elements you will see each design project has a different theme left side you will see the sketches are present when i am giving the presentation for that project and the sketch of the uh, futuristic transport that i designed is also there and you know a drone kind of a car i was making which will live underground on the right side again a project is there uh, where we made art installation for times of india in a mall it was inspired from uh, rising from recipe challenge you will go to the next page again after the brief and all uh, you will see that uh, you can go to the next page here yeah you will see that uh, there's a uh you will see when i was creating it those pictures are there uh, pictures of the whole uh, concept or the whole art installation when it was in the mall is there on the right side my photography things are there my software things are there let's move to the next page here yeah? my artworks are there so definitely for a design person they have few artworks okay with them but we always keep them in the end and i am making it clear for everyone who is watching this that uh, artwork doesn't come in design portfolio that's not design that's artwork that's why we keep it in the end always so you will see that uh, you know i have kept my poster colors together pencil color together acrylic together i have written the medium i have also written the subject uh, you know for my artworks uh, and i have arranged it properly let's move to the next i think in the end it was it is just a you know few doodles and a contact detail so this is just a basic kind of thing i did that time and i thought this you could relate to you can stop the sharing uh, shreya now
and that's it i think this much is uh, enough we can go back to the uh, slide only where it's written let's do the fun task so uh, when you saw this portfolio i hope you could uh, you know um, understand that uh, portfolios or projects are very important you know if i am taking 5 minutes of my time to create something i will take one hour to represent it because i know it's valid right so if i at that time made even a small painting i'll make sure it gets represented well because when i was painting or when i was designing a furniture or i was designing a product or i was designing a fashion accessory or just a belt or a shoe i knew what all things i went through right i would have thought of a theme i would have thought of a research i would have seen all these things happening around me picked up trends so all these things that you do subconsciously portfolio actually helps you to divide it and segregate it in parts and i am sure you all do it right now but you don't do it by articulating it so start making these kinds of small small um, details and slides and pages and start writing journaling because you can compile and i am so sure that you have more work than me because you have done some so much of work with me so start preparing and compiling those things because it will help you a lot okay so here's the exercise what i want you to do now without turning off your camera so uh, i want you to take a paper any paper you can take and imagine that as your cover page okay so do you have a plain sheet of paper it could be a5 a4 any size my portfolio was of a5 when i printed it you know it was small these things you are seeing here on it online it becomes so it can be a5 also it can be a4 also do not make it very small because it becomes very difficult for people to hold so a5 to a4 is a good size for a portfolio uh, a3 is also good some people take big big portfolios but um it completely depends on the kind of work you have take a small cover page imagine it's your cover page of your portfolio i want you to quickly uh leave canva or any portfolio from hand because that's the best thing to do take a pencil and a pen and just on that page try to make your cover page like where will you write portfolio where will you write your name what should be the theme is it like floral theme is it geometric shapes is it your painting that will come in the background so i just want you to do a layout of your cover page okay and we will not take more than 10 minutes for this and then one by one we will start discussing what was the theme why did you choose this and i'll give you a little bit of feedback also and then you can ask me your doubts and we can end the session quickly so uh, quickly start making your uh, cover page i'll only give 10 minutes for this not more than that any doubts anyone has in what a cover page should have any doubts a cover page should have your name a cover page should have portfolio written it should have the year written and these things are must and then other things are your choice so let's start guys quickly start uh, shreya you can stop the recording now it on screen also ma'am can it show yes you can show like this of course Yes, so portfolio is written. Then below your name is written, and I can see few patches of. Can you? Yeah, it's uh, abstract explain? kind of patches. Okay, abstract. And is it specific? Ma'am, you use uh, this kind yes, of. Yes, ma'am. Yes, is... yeah. ma'am. Just like a uh, abstract. Uh, in abstract, I have to use. Uh, I have a freedom to use a color. I have free freedom to use medium. I in abstract we have to explore many things. That's automatically connect to our portfolio. Like in portfolio, portfolio just like a you. That represent you. You must. You have a freedom to use. A, totally, you have freedom to use a color. You have freedom to use a medium. You have freedom to use a fonts. That's why I use a abstracts. Okay. and uh, in the future what kind of portfolio you want to make a fashion design portfolio is that your interest yes ma'am 
Yeah, yeah so of course, like think your fashion design will have different different themes and all. So abstract will be okay. For example, if you have a red color dress, then you can put the shapes in red color. It won't stick to something. You can use lines, geometric shapes, and all, and it will yes, go well. Yes, ma'am. Good. Yes, ma'am. Uh, next, Muskan. What did we think of? You can see. Yes, I can see. There's a girl. She has clothes in her hand, and it's written. Where's O in portfolio? F O L I O. Check. There's a letter missing. Yes, ma'am. What? Yes. Now show it to me again. Show it to me again. Can you show it on screen again? Below also there is something you have written. You have written the ear ear like that and my muskan. Okay. Can you talk about it? Why the girl with things in the hand? Why? Uh, Ma'am, I choose uh, like a fashion designer portfolio, uh, and I choose abstract art and geometric shapes also in it. Uh, and uh, uh, <clears throat> that girl is carrying those two kinds of uh, you know clothes in her hand. Yes, ma'am. Uh, it shows a uh, like a uh, yeah, collections of uh, um uh like a uh, man's okay. wears and girls' wears and all the collections are put in those portfolio. Uh, and uh, I choose uh, like a uh, in uh, background um uh, geometric shapes and uh, abstract art. The tune. Uh... Muskan, don't make it too much. For example, don't make it like overpowering. Still try to keep it simple and you know those things. In cover, if you are making it by hand, then it, do, try to use two colors only. Then, then also we can make it simple, right? So your whole idea I understood, but in colors, don't try to use too many colors. Otherwise, eyes of a user will go everywhere in the cover page. So it can be like it's black in the background, but the girl and the clothes are in pink, and then you know your name and everything is pink, or it's orange black. Any two colors, you know, keep it fixed to two colors. Okay, I'm like in one in background and one in main, like a uh, yeah, one on the main. main. Yes, yes. Use only two colors or only shades of one color. Also, you can use, right? It can be dark pink, light pink, light. Be you know same yes, shades and then one color monochrome okay. yes yes monochrome correct. Uh, Shreya, how is your portfolio, Shreya? Ma'am, uh, I made a portfolio for product design. Can okay. I show? And yes, of course you can show. Ma'am, you will okay. be my picture. Here will be okay. the name. And here, and here will be the portfolio. Here will be the futuristic theme of product, and the background will be like kind of florals, like light florals. Okay. Uh, one everything is correct. One change, Shreya, that uh, what we try to do is uh, we we are anyways adding a picture inside, right, in our portfolio and about me page. So we will skip the picture on the cover page. Okay. Uh, can you uh, shift the camera towards yourself so I can tell you the reason why? Uh, you know, in industry, what happens is that we don't want to be very biased. You know, for example, I get a portfolio, okay, where a girl picture is there, and I'm not hiring for girls, maybe. Right. 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 Maybe I'm not hiring. I have a, a pre-biased notion that. Uh, you do only guys are good product designers or are good with material. Maybe I am saying maybe. Then if on the portfolio I have a picture, then I am very obvious that okay, it's a girl and I will not move to the second page. Hmm. Okay. Right. But if we are putting okay. the if we are not putting the picture and we are putting our projects and giving that more importance, it showcases that a different else. So we try to skip using pictures on the front page of the portfolio later on of course when you have worked in an industry and you have made your name then you know it doesn't matter where your picture comes you think people know that you know this is Shreya this is Shreya's work and I want so just that change okay okay uh, Akshaya can you show me your uh, portfolio cover
you can hold it why you are not holding it like this i will see instead of changing it understood okay portfolio is written there and then on the corner in below square what is there in that square what you will write photo ma'am photo i gave i showed examples right of a portfolio cover did you yes, take sir. picture or you know, there were portfolio written and you know so what we do in a portfolio cover we write only portfolio we have a really nice background that background can be your work it can be a abstract pattern that you have made it can be a plain color it can be a painting that's done by you it can be a uh, you know an abstract even photograph of you but something that you have designed that represents you mandika okay okay ma'am and uh, you can uh, make it simpler your text and all try to choose some kind of one okay portfolio can come in the end also on the sides also so work a little bit more akshay on the page okay okay, okay. uh who else is there suman suman how was your cover and rest can we switch on our videos please because they are discussing suman suman nitika can i see your work yes ma'am priyanshi who else is left honey sangvi okay asrita show ma'am i can switch on my video ma'am can i show you a pic yes you can send me a pic sangvi till the time i will check with asrita okay asrita is showing portfolio suman is also showing asrita okay i saw uh, asrita your font is very nice it's a good font and uh, i think you have chosen a portrait portfolio everyone was doing a landscape portfolio you have done in a portrait so try to arrange your shape accordingly then you can add things on the top and bottom also okay asrita yes ma'am okay then there is who suman suman in your only portfolio is written and one square is made how will i understand what is what um yes explain me from your saying you i saw the i saw the picture now say and explain ma'am it is a uh, picture of picture of fashion designer okay okay so now fashion designing one I... theme is there we have, we have to write portfolio also we have to write year also we have to write your name and oh. in fashion Con design if you are taking contact in contact you can leave that will anyways come inside right so on the cover page you add some element related to fashion design i use abstract and uh, geometry shapes and floral arts also floral also right good good please uh, submit this picture on the group so that later on i can give you feedback also because in that group now we will start making portfolio also uh, who else is there good uh, priyanshi can you show nitika after priyanshi it's you uh, priyanshi can you show good see everyone can you see priyanshi is how she has like you know made on the left side the whole mannequin is there then portfolio is written priyanshi one change we always write word in single line portfolio together never port up and folio below okay so we have to design yes, a space like that so that the word comes together otherwise it's really good okay okay ma'am okay. oh nitika yes nitika uh nitika can you show me your uh, uh, yes ma'am yes ma'am yes, ma i am removing the mask yes uh show
ओके नितिका आई थिंक दिस इज योर बेसिक राइट सो इफ इट्स अई यू एक्स पोर्टफोलियो दैट यू आर ट्राइंग टू क्रिएट फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ इट्स अक्स वॉट द फुल फॉर्म ऑफ यू आई यू एक्स user interface and uh, uh, user experience user. so that whole thing should come in right by kanjusi so uh, we are, i have to write uh, both uh, in full like full form yeah you should you should you should you should write you and you should write user and you can write interface and you can write interaction like you can combine the all lettering right i am talking about designing right so now when we know on the side that we have user interface user interaction one more word portfolio one word one, one more word your name how can we arrange these things together right because at the end we are working for what a user interaction uh, portfolio that means the person will ask you okay seeing your first page i didn't get a good experience then how do you want to become a user experience designer right so that whole page can be designed very well the main elements you have done properly i would want you to work now on the graphic of it so see a lot of fonts see a lot of typeface these days you know there are gifs and all people are doing in you know user interaction and interface and if it's for products you are ux if it's for app and web whatever you are trying to do make sure on the cover in the background it's visible so see a lot of templates of user interface and interaction portfolios what are the cover pages that will help you a lot sangvi yes you are the last one right and honey okay honey has also sent me um um we have just 1 minute left uh, so okay uh can we rejoin guys because only one person is left and then we can uh, end the session by joining so we can clear the doubts just rejoin guys Opti doubt session. You can share that screen as well. Yeah, and we can start. Okay. Uh, Honey and Sangvi, are you here? Have you joined in? Yes, ma'am. So that I can give you the feedback. Okay. Sangvi, very less work is being done on the cover page. Sangvi, very less work is being done on the cover page. I think the whole center part is completely plain. You can add more things. Okay, Sangvi. Okay, ma'am. It's okay. Okay. For honey, honey, are you here? Are you listening? And can you switch your video on? It's been really other comments uh, are there. Good evening, ma'am. Good evening, honey. I saw the what you have tried to make. Uh, i think uh, you also need to add more things that lines and lines is a very good concept that you have tried to show but i think you still can add more things to it it can't be as simple okay okay ma'am okay okay uh okay can can you everybody, share this uh, yeah can everybody hold up their work uh, and i'll take a screenshot of it everybody switch on your videos and can hold up their work once together yeah guys can you take your work on the screen and show so that they can because even they have to uh, you know do the yeah okay thank you uh shia can you now uh, share the screen the last two slides the next one 
Okay, so there's a resource page I have already added where all you can, you know, check and take help from if you need to study more Canva, Behance, Drizzle, Google, Issue Medium and Pinterest. Uh, you can definitely go on these places and definitely learn a lot of things where we are also, uh, you know, getting knowledge from. Uh, next. Ask your doubts. We would love to hear your questions. Any doubts regarding Code Studio that I can answer for anyone? Ma'am, can I? Yes. Ma'am, can you show more to portfolios of your students which are recently made? Okay, yes, I can. Okay. I can share. Uh, uh, can you uh, share this uh, portfolio of Mitushi and then Arushi? You can share exactly. Mitushi's. Uh, Okay, okay, I'll do that. Thank you, ma'am. No problem, we already kept that with us. Uh, I think it's of Arushi. Uh, can we proceed with Arushi first? Arushi, you can check that. We can quickly swipe through it. And the second one, there's one more of Mitushi also. Is it uh, visible for all? So maybe it's not visible. I think it's sharing. Uh, so a little bit about both of them. So Arushi has cleared NID and NIFT last year. She is in NIFT now. Uh, Mitushi also cleared NID and NIFT both, and she is in NIFT Mumbai now. So uh, that's why their portfolio are made recent for this year because in NID you need to make a portfolio. Uh, for the second round of examinations. So you can see how they both made it and it's completely uh, made by both of them. Shreya, uh, do you want to stop and reshare again if it's stuck? Oh, yes, I'll do that. Till the time anyone has any doubts which I can answer to, till the time she's uh, sharing it, I can answer the doubts regarding to portfolio. Rishita, any doubts? Sangvi, any doubts? Suman, doubts? Because we have to start creating, so there should not be any doubts now. Raksha, any doubts? Okay, yeah. So guys, uh, see, uh, this was a portfolio done by Arushi. Uh, so she has chosen this whole abstract kind of a portfolio she has written about. About she doesn't want, didn't wanted to include her photo, and that's completely fine. She had written her design perspective. She also mentioned her um, contents. Let's move to the next. Uh, she did this logo design for, you know, uh, government organization and her brainstorming rough sketches, all these things are present. Also, a little concept notice there. She did typography and fonts. Those pictures are present. Um, she did, uh, the next page you will see, she did dress designing on, uh, you know, a societal on Black Lives Matter. So she tried to do that. Um, she has also done space design uh, work, uh, you know, for um, some rough sketches and those things she has added. Um, let's move to the next. She did a memento design on Startup India and she has added those, but she has also added her brainstorming and rough sketches uh, and concept note. We move to the next. Uh, book cover design and I think this uh, portfolio is still in progress because she was still adding more things to it. So this might be a draft work of hers. Her product sketches are there. Um, then her poster design sketches are there and she has chosen uh, you know, some important. Uh, she has not put all her designs. We tried to choose her important and best work only, but of course you can decide what you want your portfolio to showcase uh, next. 
your character design she did a few um, next oh her digital artwork uh, is visible here and then you have her um, artwork wall at mood she has done gra graffiti and she has done face paintings she does all of that um, her portrait artwork then her watercolor artwork you see there she was a very good uh, and from her portfolio you will know that her hand skill is uh, really nice and that's showcasing in all her work uh, next you can move to the next slide her stippling uh, art and even in art if you are adding try to add different things you know that normally people wouldn't add and the last one will be her contact page i think yeah thank you her email instagram phone and behance arushi tyagi फॉर making her portfolio in that way where you will see her cover page is very simple and she has used a vibrant green color throughout her portfolio you will see the next slide um, her about me is there mitushi uh, you know aspiring designer what does design mean to her about me because this is the kind of style of portfolios i do and this is how it has worked for me in the industry and it has worked for these kids so we continue to follow this pattern um, contents she has added contents uh, then the next page you will see is her project uh, toy design project we did this together in situation trust uh, you know preparation last year then you will see the final project uh, you know when she created that whole prototype uh, then there is her object drawing uh, after that you will see her um, logo designing she loves logo designing so you know she kept uh, making logos on her own on her own interest and kept adding those things in her portfolio i'm sure you all have also done these things the bell icon she made it in graphic also she made it in by hand also uh next typography she loved brush lettering she likes uh, using colors and also on typography thing is there then her practice questions of storyboarding that we did together for nifton and id is there um, after that again her artworks are there a uh, few are illustrations few are everyday uh, still life work and then there is the uh, her general artwork social media artwork mm. her photography she loves doing photography so wherever she has clicked those pictures she has even mentioned that you will see page numbers are also there in her portfolio and uh, next was her 3d model making that we practiced a kids room and she, see she has written the aim below also what she was trying to make uh, And then there is her 3D artwork, uh, you know, cobbler's shop or Rajasthani wall art that she does in her free time. So she has added that also. And then, thank you. That's her end page. Shreya, um, was this helpful? Yes, ma'am, a lot. Yes. Uh, so that's why I was telling that you know when you will go online. which means if you'll go on behance and places and type there will be a too much professional portfolios that will come out so uh, don't aim for those aim at how how much you can do what represents you try to be organized try to align well be in balance use your elements of design of color line shape texture you know principle of design unity harmony like a viewer should love to see your work and you should also love to showcase your work it goes hand in hand so make sure you are doing that um any doubts i can clear for anyone else in the session any doubts no 
yes, yes, no, no. Okay. Uh, so uh, we can move to the last slide now. Thank you. Thank you guys for attending this workshop. We'll make sure that we keep arranging more and a quick shorter ones, not these long one sessions, but I hope um, you would have enjoyed it. And I hope this helps you uh, somewhere or the other in your life. If you have any other doubts, please feel free to reach us out on our Instagram handle, on our email, on our phone number, and we would have no problem in replying back to you from today. Start building your portfolio with something which is very useful. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Can I hear a thank you? Bye. Thank, thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Shreya, you can stop the recording now, I think.